Hello everybody. Welcome to Learn with Learners and myself Sumit Lorna. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download TDS consolidated file. First of all, one should understand what is TDS consolidated file. Whenever we file our TDS statement or TDS return in the form 24Q, 26Q, then if uh, there is any error, then a default is generated and you can see uh, in the justification report what are the mistakes which you have done while filing your TDS, ETDS return. After knowing what are the uh, different mistakes you have committed, you need to uh, file a connection statement to the uh, TDS uh, utility which is available at NSTL website. So, for filing a connection statement, you need to have the consolidated file. That means uh, a file which contains the uh, statement uh, which you have filed earlier. Okay, and then one need that file, that file is to be downloaded from the Trezor website. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download that particular file. Here we are on the website of tdscpc.gov.in. Here we we'll need to enter into this website through its credentials. Here we are. Uh, we we'll need to put here user ID and then password and then PAN number, public PAN number and a verification code. In my case, it's C A M P and then click on login. Once you click on login, the website will take you to this new window. In which there are some options like challenge status, request for justification report download, request for console file that is consolidated file, download form 16, request and downloads, inbox, view report summary. In this tool, we uh, will cover how to request for consolidated file. So click on that. Once you will click over here, it will ask for the financial year for which you will need to. Download consolidated file that is 12, 13, 13, 14, or whatever the case may be. Quarter of first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, or fourth quarter. And form type that is 26Q. It is applicable for months salary tax deductions and 24Q, which is applicable for salary deduction. So here we are. I need to download for financial 13, 14, Q1, form type 26Q, and then click on go. Here we are on the most important of this tutorial uh, which is the basically uh, people are facing problems while filling this uh, particular uh, page uh, particular columns you can see over here it's asking for authentication code we don't have authentication code now we have to generate it for that we need to fill in these columns that means uh, form type 46 q for that particular uh, form we need to have our console file and financial year that is 2013 and quarter one and the token number of the vehicle seat number that is ERN. We need to fill in that particular number over here. Uh, once uh, whenever we submit our ETDS return to NSTL, then uh, when provisional receipt number or token number is being generated, that is the numerical number which you need to uh, put that particular number over here. After that, it is asking for part 1 and part 2, that is challenge identification number, transfer also details as quoted in the above statement. You need to have, need to mention a particular challenge uh, which you have uh, filed while you are filing your original TDS return. You need to put uh, that particular, for one challenge, you need to mention all the four entries like PSR code of that particular challenge. Date on which that uh, tax has been deposited under that particular challenge, mm -hmm. challenge serial number. It is basically a five digit serial number like 00053. is basically a kind of number provided by the paying bank and challenge amount. Uh, please note that whenever you fill in amount in these boxes, you need to fill in in two decimal places like 1987.00. Okay, that is clear all for now. Now come to part 2. Enter unique PAN amount combination for challenge transfer or to enter. Okay. Whatever challenge you have put here, you need to mention three PAN numbers that should be unique PAN 
and the amount deposited against that particular charge. So you have to gain those the particular pan numbers and the amount deposited against that particular pan. But all the three entries should be in corresponding with the challenge which you have mentioned above. Okay. Now you see uh, what this uh, is saying. Please enter three distinct pan amount combinations corresponding to the challenge details mentioned above. If there are less than three pans corresponding to the specified challenge, mention all available one or two pan amount combinations. If you have one challenge for in one that particular channel, if you have only two pan numbers that are unique, then you have only option. You need to mention only two pan numbers and then numbers. Okay. And one more important thing: this checkbox is to be selected if they please select if there are no valid pan deducting rows corresponding to challenge transfer box to mention above. So for this particular challenge, if there are no valid pan deductions, then you need to select this one. For example. You have paid uh, the amount to challenge. You have mentioned in that particular challenge your ETDS statement while filing your original ETDS statement, but you have adjusted a wrong PAN number. The deducting or that PAN number was not valid. Okay, and then in that case, you have to select this checkbox. Here we go. I have mentioned my token number over here and BSI code here. Date is here. Challenge number here. Amount here and corresponding PAN number. The pan numbers the amount have mentioned over here. Now, once you will click here on the submit button, it will generate an uh, authentication code which can be used for that particular day and for all these purposes for download intimation, request for traces, offline correction file, request for console file, do it for summary, find correction. All these things you have this one authentication correction code which is valid. For that particular day on which you have generated that. For, for example, I have generated this uh, on 15th of November at 11:38 a.m. a.m. That means that this uh, particular authentication code can be used for all these purposes for that particular day. So proceed with the transaction. Click on that. Now let's download request confirmation. Request for SQL consolidated file has been submitted. Request number is this much. This one and the file will be available in download section. Please note once you will submit uh, this request after half, one hour or so, or after uh, sometimes it may take uh, about two hours, two hours uh, after you can once again log in your traces account and click on the request downloads. Once you click that, it will show over here. This request number is showing here and showing the status as available. Earlier it, it was showing as submitted, now it's showing is available. And go to as chip and download and click on that. Once you will click on that, a uh, zip file will be downloaded in your system. That has to be a, a password protected file which you have to open through this, this password system. Like first you have to mention 10 in your 10 number in caps lock. Cap with your caps lock on that means uh, in capital letters and then underscore and then the request number. For example, in my case, my PAN number is A B C D 1 2 3 4 5 E then underscore then the request number. This is my request number 6106844. Once I will put that, my file will get open and my file will be available for me. Or filing uh, ETDS correction statement and making other things required for my ETDS correction statement. So I think this concept is clear for downloading consolidated file from Traces website. If you like this tutorial, then just come on and like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash learnwithuras. Again, subscribe us on YouTube at youtube.com slash learnwithloda you can follow us on twitter as well thank you very much keep watching this channel for more of this kind of tutorials thank you very much